Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm in my pickup, I'm following the uh, rotator. Michael and Mike are in the rotator and we're probably gonna have uh, our other heavy 15 coming on this. He's on another tow and has another one holding. It's been super busy. Um, but we, what we've got here, Idaho State Police called. It's a uh, truck and trailer hauling one of those huge windmills, which you guys know are gigantic and weigh a lot. Um, last one we winched out weighed over 200,000 pounds total. So um, apparently the Jeep part of the trailer uh, is off, the dolly part is off the road and maybe in like a ditch. Um, and the officer was saying he wanted a rotator so that we could lift and rotate it over. But I don't even, I don't know how much those weigh. I mean, that could weigh so much. I really don't know. I assume we can do it. Um, but we, there's a chance we might need our, our other truck too and use them both to try and get this thing back up on the road. I don't know how bad it is. It's really difficult to know until we get there. Um, but we're headed out and uh, it's at uh, exit three and on I-84 on the freeway. So we'll be there in about oh, 30, 40 minutes. So we'll be there in a bit. Okay, well, I just got a little update for you guys. Um, just got a phone call from Mike. Um, he actually FaceTimed the officer so uh, they could get a better idea. The officer wanted to FaceTime us so we could kind of give an input on what we think we should take. Um, we're definitely going to be sending our heavy. Um, he's finishing a call, and then he'll head out to it, so I know we'll beat him by a little bit. And then our medium duty, which I was going to take, um, had another tow, and so it's finishing up what it's doing, and then it's going to come out. But I guess this thing weighs 250,000 pounds. Rotator's just right behind me. In fact, we're gonna pull in here in just a second. Grabbing my gloves and hard hat. That's it, right up there. Yeah, I just took the corner a little too tight and that the trailer totally went in. So yeah, that'll be, it's a lot of weight there. But we got enough trucks. Um, we decided to hold off on Sarge because we did the math and we should totally be fine with our three trucks the medium duty won't be doing a whole lot but it'll definitely be helping but with the rotator and 15 we should be just fine and they're not too far behind either by the time we get rigged they'll probably be uh showing up so it'll actually be probably really good timing so i'll walk up there and then i'll start the video again I can't believe how huge that thing is. <laughs> Whoo! You see them go by, but you never up close to one to really see how big those things are. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Man, just took it too too tight, huh? Oh to turn. Oh. These have these are self-steering kind of. Right, kind of, yeah. Yeah, right there, you can see where it steers. Uh, crazy. Yeah, it's, you can see right there the trench he was building there in the mud. Whew. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man. Yeah, he's stuck. See the other side? Uh -huh. You see the other side? See how stuck it is? Yeah. <laughs> All that, that whole body of that trailer is in the mud on that side. <laughs> wow. Did you see the other side yet? Buried. Whew. Buried.
What's that? Looks like he's gonna decide to back it all the way up. <laughs> oh, the rotator's finally turned around. That took a while. And then uh, seven or medium duty, he just went ahead and backed up down there. And 15 should be here any second. I saw it a, a while back drive by, so he's gonna be here any minute. So I was just talking to the driver and the other side of this trailer, I'll show you. It's completely on the asphalt too. I mean, everything here is, I mean, that's to its belly. Super, super stuck. There's a lot of weight. And I didn't realize it, but we're actually gonna be pulling a lot more than I thought initially, way more than 90,000 pounds because this trailer needs pulled because it's sitting on the asphalt. It's not going anywhere. He can't move it. And he's unpinned. He, he unpinned from the Jeep trailer. Um, so what we'll do, our plan is take 28, our rotator, and we're actually gonna, we'll tee it to a 90 degree and then we'll boom up here. If you can see where my hand is, we'll boom out about up here. And then we're gonna drop two low lines around here and here and lift and get some lift going. And at the same time, using a drag winch to pull this part up in that direction. While 15 comes next to him and does the same thing with its two lines to pull it that direction and our medium duty as well if we need it, which, jeez, I think we better. It's a lot of weight. Rotator get in position, we got seven where we want it. And we're gonna be two-parting its line. He's getting that set up up there at the trailer. We'll be two-parting both lines. So we'll have four lines of the load up there. Just giving it some nice tug. Not a lot of room to work with, huh? The area that we have to work with here is definitely gonna be an issue too. Because we need to make sure we get our legs out all the way on both sides. I don't know how well you guys can tell, but there's not a ton of room here. So this is about the best we're gonna be able to get with the rotator so that that leg can still go all the way out. And then we'll get 15 position. And yeah, go from there. We got truck seven hooked up to give it a little bit of an extra help up there. pressure you have on each one. So one point, one has more, one point, the other one has more. But if you marry the hooks like we're doing here, then you have equal pressure on both lines. So we're setting it up at seven, same time getting these true trucks ready. <laughs> Careful now, don't fall down. On each. I got one oh, then, then yeah, that one there. Yeah. Just a half inch. Here, I'll take it. Mike hurt his hands. Nobody knows about that on YouTube. Mike hurt his hand. He broke his hand, and he's still out here. Not so much of a stud Mike is. How much of a stud is Mike? Still out here with a broken he's hand. A he's a stud. He's got, got three pins, pins in his hand. He's got three pins in his hand. He's still out here working like a stud. Dude's awesome.
Hey Michael, you wanna give me more on the drag? Oh, that's easier. That's good. crooked okay next one this giving you the it's making you nervous <laughs> make sure we're good before I get down. Look good? Okay. All right, get out of here. I'll balance beam this. equal pull on each line. Yep. All right. Okay, I'll change it. All right, if you guys didn't hear that, we're gonna do the same thing, same setup we did here with seven. We married the lines, so that way you're doing equal pressure with both of them. Oh, this is set up right there. Do the, do the exact same thing with the rotator up here. So I'm gonna change that. Huh? <laughs> we're switching it. Okay, we switched it up. I did most of the switching it up with these huge heavy snatch blocks so I didn't record it but whew, you can see up there we've got the lines married all right so here's our setup so far here's what we got and then 15 our heavy is in the back pulling the tail of the trailer backwards pretty cool lineup right there how you doing, Bryce? Thumbs up? Out a boy. Out a boy. <laughs> We're having fun. I love stuff like this. I love challenges. This is definitely a challenge. That's so much weight. Is that the pins? 
That's the metal rods. Oh, gross. How's it coming down here? with the drag winch. There it goes. and the sun starts going down at 5.30 and my, my uh, iPhone takes a lot better picture when it gets dark. So I switched over to my iPhone here. GoPro gets a little too dark and you can't see much, so. We're trying to save that airbag. There's a bag down there that's trying to catch that lip of the asphalt. So we're trying to skate it up and over, trying to save that airbag as best as we can. 
so we're gonna hold fear while he tries to get that in and we'll start going again, but it's coming. Skates are working. Put that air back up on the asphalt now. And she's coming. Yes, yeah, 31,000 on the boom up there. Which is pretty good considering there's two other trucks pulling it this direction as he's lifting it that direction. It's a lot of weight. Fifteen's gonna have to pull forward. Yeah. All right, Mike's gonna go tell. Fifteen's gonna have to pull forward, but you can see they've got that last axle up in the air, so it's it's coming towards him. It's doing what we want. He's gonna pull forward, and we'll do, do it again. There's Bryce there, looking good, putting out the vibe, looking good there. Pause it while 15 gets repositioned. And we'll go again.
Okay. All right, 15 is going to come up again a little bit. Pulled forward, we're gonna go again. Remove that snatch block from that higher spot to the lower spot so we're not getting so much lift back here. But it's coming where we want. We knew this back end was gonna turn because the Jeep on this turns. And uh, so we knew it was gonna have to come this way first and then we'll get the rest of it come pulled back around. So he's just wiring in, we'll start going again here. It is getting getting a little dark, so I might be switching back to my phone, but for right now I think we can see well enough. So it's little movements, it's constantly checking everything, little movements, constant communication. But so far everything's going how we want it. We'll go around the other side, see how everybody else is doing over there. Thinking we gotta move these up. Okay. Okay, go ahead and wire out, we'll move them up. And then free spool them. Alright, we're gonna move these up here. But they've got, if you can see, they've got that pretty well up. So they're doing a good job, it's moving again now. Yeah, I was watching them. They're still pulling, so let's do it quick. So watch your, here, I'll do it, I'll do it. Watch your hand. Boy, they're just going. About to stop and point them over rehook here. Right here, Mike. Let's make a big loop. That way they can just pull on it from right here. You're gonna have to go in on blue. You're gonna have to go in on blue to get away from that white. It's gonna get sucked into the snatch block. Okay, go ahead. A lot of moving parts on this one. Okay, we got them rehooked so they're pulled back further because we already pulled in about 10 feet. Actually, more like 15, 20 feet. And Michael's rotating. to get a different angle of the pole.
before that trailer hits to our back leg. Tell me right before the trailer hits your back leg. Okay. to reposition the rotator because this trailer is going to get too close to the leg. But it's going what we, it's doing what we wanted it to. Starting to come up. I was going to go a little bit more with this drag winch. Yep, I got it. All right, I'm gonna climb back up and redo these, take these snatch blocks off. That way we can pull the rotator forward because now we need to go another oh, 20, 30 feet forward. Okay, watch. Got it? There it goes. Okay. with one hand, huh? Oh boy. I'm balancing up here. I never lost any strokes right now. I broke this hand. It's a good streak in this hand. <laughs> okay, I need... Uh, oh, okay, ready? Okay. I'm gonna climb down and we'll move the rotator forward. Whew. All right, we got the high lines hooked back up. We moved the rotator about 10, 12 feet back. Now we're ready to get going again. And we're getting dark now. Hook the drag winch for that half inch chain there. Seven, still doing a good job back here. Still plenty of room to winch, too. So, the way it's coming up, we just keep doing this, it's, we're, we're looking good. Okay, drag is hooked. Let's go around to the other side of this thing. Show you guys uh, kind of how it looks over here. As you can see the progress we've made. A little dark. I'm going to pull out my phone here after this clip. That rotator puts off a ton of light, but the GoPro doesn't do so great at nighttime. But you can see how much we've gone on this. Tons. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna pull up my phone and show you guys. So 
So that right there has slid Woo, a ton. Maybe grab a flashlight so we can see better. But yeah, that's moved a bunch. See these huge ruts. It's a good 30 feet we've moved it. Got 41,000 on the uh, boom. Good. I think you're gonna clear the leg. I think you're gonna clear it. He's more on green. There you go. He's coming, baby. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, man, that's beautiful. She's coming right where we we almost have the main trailer back on the asphalt. You can see it right there, it's really close. Okay, we're gonna reposition. All right, we're no longer using the medium duty. It's not, uh, it's done its part. The hardest pull's done done its part getting it over where we need it and this trailer here is actually slid over a lot and he we're about back onto the, the deck like the decks back on the, the road so he's gonna de-rig all that put all that away get that truck out of the way and uh, we'll continue going yeah yeah I'll watch it Unfortunately, we're going to run into our leg again here, so we got another two feet. And then we'll move again and do it again, but we're looking really good here. You can see it moving towards the, towards the road. See it moving towards the road there? That's exactly what we're wanting. It's awesome. But I'm going to stop it here in just a little bit, but that is perfect.
Okay, we're gonna move the rotator. Hopefully one last time. In fact, it should be just one last time. I'm gonna wait till it moves forward. And I'm gonna rehook these again. We'll give one more winch and that trailer should definitely be on the asphalt by then. And then we'll pull that tail in over and you'll rehook and then try and make that turn again. Super tight turn, so I can see how that would be difficult to make that. back on the road so we're just about done here so we'll get that going now all right so here's our progress you can see there crazy rut that whole line there and then I'll show you where the, the main trailer how much it's moved. So you can see there's our rut. Travels all the way up there on the road. And then here's the actual trailer part. So it slid, see it's back on the asphalt now. You kind of see it's marks right there. Yeah, you can see it. How much it slid over. All the way to here is where it used to be. That's where it is now. Back on the road. 
So yeah, looking much better. We're almost done. We'll get our trucks out of the way and uh, get them the rest of the way. That's where it used to be. All of that. Crazy. All right, so 15 is gonna pull this end of the trailer away from the rotator so that rotator and our medium duty truck can get out of here. And then from that, once they're out of the way, pull it the rest of the way. Are you dancing? I caught that on camera this time. Wow. <laughs> that's the victory dance? That, that's the three. We're not done yet. <laughs> All right, let's get this So we got the trucks moved over finally. Took some wiggling and, and uh, moving around some things, but uh, finally. The hardest part about this job was really the amount of room we have to work with here. But we had the rotator moved away enough, and now we can finally start getting this all the way out. Now that we have some room. So he'll back up, get out of the way, and let 15 pull this the rest of the way, and then we should be good.
back out now. Okay, have him set his brakes. careful of our trucks here but as you can see he's just gonna go ahead and drive on out now that he's all the way out but thanks for watching everybody like and subscribe and god bless we'll see you all in the next one